Hey folks, JD here. And as the weather has been so bad once again over a weekend, I haven't been able to fly. So what I thought I would do is I went back, had a look through everything that I had on the channel, went back 12 months to see what it was that we were flying this time last year. So essentially I've taken four quadcopters and we're going to be looking at these 12 months on, whether they are still flyable, whether they are still good, whether they should have been good, and just my final thoughts on them 12 months on. So first of all, we're going to start off today and we're going to look at the Sim 2 Ferry. Now, if you've been following quadcopters, if you follow drones, if you follow people on YouTube, if you like the hobby, then you will know all about this particular quadcopter. It's very difficult for me to talk about this quad without being massively sarcastic, simply because the quadcopter was a massive failure. Now, it started off as a kickstart campaign. I've uh, ploughed money into loads of kickstart campaigns over the years. Some of them have been fantastic. And some of the products I still use, others, like this one, have just fallen flat on its face. Now, on paper, when it first came out, it sounded fantastic. And now, I'm very wary about things like that, but still, it sounded fantastic. I wanted to back the company. Let's just go for it. So that's exactly what we did. A load of people backed it. I waited until a couple of months after, well, a couple of weeks after it had come out, and I bought it from Banggood. It arrived, I was so happy, I hadn't looked at any reviews, I hadn't looked at anything at all, I totally took it out and decided to fly it blindly, and I was so let down. So the quadcopter is brushless, it has four motors, obviously it has a nice little camera on the front of it. You can control it via the, via the transmitter that comes with it, or via your smartphone, via Wi-Fi, and it kept on landing. It just kept on landing every two to three minutes. Everybody, I think, including myself over the years, have, uh, or over the past 12 months rather, have tried everything to fix this. And I don't think anybody has been 100% successful. Yes, there are some people out there that have been quite close to it, but still, there are problems with the quadcopter. Now, every time I fly it, uh, and if you haven't seen it, any of the times that I've flown it, and if you want to, all the links are in the description. Now, every time I fly it, it flies around for a little while and then comes down and lands. It's a nightmare. The best I've been able to fly it is on my off my smartphone and off my tablet I've been able to fly it for 10 15 minutes no problem as soon as you attach it to the transmitter and you try and get any sort of distance out of it it just fails and it just comes down and lands well fortunately it doesn't fly off fortunately it does land so you can just go and pick it up I'm rating this the biggest flop of any quadcopter since it's come out because quite literally I believe it is I think if you're considering getting it, don't. If you're considering buying it secondhand, don't. Anything you're considering doing with this particular quadcopter, I would just say, don't bother. I use it currently, it's a doorstop that holds open my office door. That is not a joke, that is exactly what I do. I've taken the battery out and it is, quite literally. I fill the inside with, with some sand in a, little, um, in, a little, in a little bag and it is quite literally my doorstop. That is the only thing it's good for. Um, I am, and that's that's not easy for me to say. It isn't something, I don't want these quadcopters to fail. I want these quadcopters to be a resounding success. But at the same time, when one that has failed as badly as this, I can in no way, shape or form back it or even say that it's partially good. Now, even though I could fly it directly on Wi-Fi and I can get a full battery's worth of charge out of that, it still doesn't make up for the fact that Again, Wi-Fi, even with an extender, you have got to watch yourself. You do get intermittent issues. Environmental factors play a very big part of it. And to be honest with you, I still don't feel after four and a half years of flying quadcopters, I still don't feel 100% uh, happy with flying something like this, which isn't 100% on Wi-Fi. That being said, my friends, I, I'm really not happy with it. 12 months on, I got it. It's now a doorstop holding open my office door, and that's it. If you would like to see all the tests that I've done, once again, you'll find them all in the description. I've tried to include every single one that I've done over the years or over the past 12 months rather, over the year. Uh, and even things I've done off camera with this particular quadcopter, nothing has been successful. Well, 
Let's start off the week like this. Let's hope the other ones going into the rest of the week are a little bit better. FYI, they are. All right then, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed that. Nice little recap of the past 12 months starring the Sim 2 Fairy. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.